Now then, let's just uh, bring you uh, a line of uh, copy to tell you that, uh, well, well, we're going to talk to Peter Taylor in a moment, uh, BBC investigative journalist and expert on Al-Qaeda. But, but just before we talk to Peter, let me tell you that uh, uh, the former Pakistan president, Pervez Musharraf, has been talking about the American operation and actually been rather critical of uh, what the Americans have done, saying that it should have been carried out by Pakistani troops uh, he says uh, no foreign troops should enter Pakistan, although what's happened is good. I do not expect Pakistani people to be happy at the way our sovereignty was violated. Pervez Musharraf was a key ally of the United States and the UK in the war on terror after 9-11. And he's saying that this uh, action to kill Osama bin Laden should have been carried out by Pakistani troops, that the US operation was uh, in his words, a violation of Pakistani sovereignty. Well, let's talk now to Peter Taylor, uh, BBC investigative journalist and an al-Qaeda specialist, author of Talking to Terrorists, A Personal Journey from the IRA to Al-Qaeda. Peter, good to talk to you. Um, what's your sense of how the Americans might have been led to this, uh, this villa, this mansion, about an hour's drive from Islamabad, not where many people had been expecting bin Laden to be hiding out? I suspect, <clears throat> pardon me, I suspect it is almost inconceivable that there was not a human source involved because to mount this kind of operation which was precise and clinical without inside knowledge is almost unbelievable. To identify the compound and then critically to identify the precise location inside the compound where Bin Laden was requires a degree of inside information. Now whether or not, as Anatole was saying, that information in fact came from the ISI, which is possible, one simply doesn't know. But if you look at the recent drone attacks in the tribal areas in Pakistan, those attacks are carried out on the basis primarily of human intelligence, that al-Qaeda people, supporters, informants cross the border, give the CIA the precise location of the target, the drones then go off, go off and, and kill them from... Uh, Way, way up in the sky. So just to be clear, are you talking about a traitor within bin Laden's camp or are you talking about somebody who might have been coming and going to that villa that the US or the Pakistanis were following? Could be a combination of both. One has always suspected that the main route to identifying the whereabouts of bin Laden lay with the couriers because bin Laden does not communicate via mobile phone. He doesn't have internet connection because if he had either, he would be, he would be nobbled like that by the American intelligence intercepts and intelligence services. And the couriers do what exactly? Well, what the couriers do, that it's interesting that bin Laden has not made a statement for a long, long time. We certainly haven't seen him do a videoed statement. The statements tend to be done by uh, Amin al-Zawahri, his, his number two. Those statements are then couriered, literally, with uh, you know, a man with a fork stick with a message on, who then goes from wherever Zawahri is or bin Laden is, across probably via intermediaries to deliver the tape or the message to Al Jazeera or whatever Gulf um, Arab media outlet it is. So it's always seemed to me that the obvious way to find bin Laden was to track, was to track down the couriers, mm. and I suspect that's what has happened. It may be that you know we don't know, we lack information, we lack we lack detail, Ben. It may be that bin Laden simply moved into this compound very recently. We mustn't assume that he's been there for, you know, for years and years and years. But over in the past 10 years when I've been covering al-Qaeda, I've talked to you know, senior uh, direct, well, directors of the CIA. And the last question I've always put to them, most recently to General Michael Hayden in my last series, is, you know, why is bin Laden still at large? And he said, because he's hiding. Mm. And I said, well, why haven't you got him? He said... Don't worry, one day we will. Kofa Black said the same to me almost 10 years ago, and, and they were true to their word they have. But it's, it was a remarkable, remarkable operation. But in a sense, I suppose people...